Everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve with you. Another day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us meditate upon his goodness. Let us meditate upon his victory. And that is what Psalm 24 is really all about. I want to bring you, uh, just as that culmination of these three psalms together, I talked about how in rabbinic tradition they would know when Psalm 22 was spoken, those first words, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? They could just go on and on all the way through the end of 24. So listen in, Jesus speaking from the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from me, from saving me? Um, And as God forsook him, he travels them through, he brings people through this, this walk, this walk of faith, this walk of the kingdom of Christ. And that's where we get to see a little bit of the understanding of what is really happening on the cross. What's happening on the cross is God's kingdom is coming. God's kingdom of glory. And it doesn't look glorified, but that is where Christ is glorified. That is where God is magnified. That his purpose was to save the people from their sin. And he did that in his only son, Jesus. And so as he's hanging on the cross and he says the beginning of Psalm 22, you can just journey through with him and being able to say, look at this anguish, look at this petition, look at this provision, Psalm 23. And then look at the kingdom, Psalm 24, look at the victory of Christ in his kingdom. People will assail that, people will insult that, people will mock that, the princes and the kings will go about their own ways, but the kingdom of Christ will reign. So as we meditate upon Psalm 24, think about Jesus' words on the cross. Think about David as a king and think about the kingdom of God that will never end. Psalm 24, let's meditate. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false. He will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God his Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King? Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. What is this kingdom? Who is this king? If your eyes can be fixed upon Jesus on the cross, many people would say it didn't look like it. But as he ushered in the kingdom of God, salvation for all, that his blood was spilled for the forgiveness of sins, this, this is the king everlasting. This is the king of glory. This is our savior. He is our strength. I'll just utter these words again of being able to say, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. So what would he do for it? He would love it so much that he would send his only son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him would not perish, but have eternal life. Psalm 22, 23, 24, victorious psalms, ushering in the kingdom of God the way through the cross, and as we know, the way through the empty tomb. That Jesus is alive, and he is with us. Who is this King of glory? It's Jesus. He's living, he's reigning with God the Father and the Holy Spirit, and he is with us this day. So let us walk this day in victory, even in the midst of suffering, even in the midst of pain and chaos and of this world. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it. He's got it in his hands and he has won the victory. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.